Welcome to the Mailbox. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. You're watching the Mailbox here on Huda TV. And we're, we've got a good question that just came in here. It's talking about relationships with other people, especially non-Muslims. I want to know how to deal with my friends, relatives, people that I work with every day. They're not Muslim. What do I do? How do I approach or talk to them about different subjects? Or can I even be with them at all? What's the Quran say about that? I heard somebody say we can't even take them as friends. Uh, and do I have to forsake all my relatives now that I'm a Muslim in What's going on with that in Islam? <laughs> it's actually a longer email than that. But th to suffice this quick little answer, Islam insists that you maintain the relationships that you have with your relatives, even if they're not Muslim. This is clear in the Quran itself, and Allah tells us clearly, don't break the ties of the uh, wombs. In Arabic, rahm. Don't do that. Don't break these ties. It's very important. Stay hooked to your mom and your dad and your brothers and sisters and cousins and aunts and uncles and grandparents and give them the best of treatment. Let them see Islam in you through your actions and don't break the ties of the womb. Now, another one is when you're talking about your friends and people that you work with. Also, Islam is teaching us to have the best of character to present the message of Islam through our actions in our good way. So if we're really living Islam, they could look at us and say, you know what, I like to be like this guy. He's got traits that I like. By the way, that's how I got to Islam, is by watching the character of a person, not by arguing over what Islam says about you know, where you put your hands when you pray or facing this way or that way. It came because I could see somebody living and practicing this beautiful deen called Islam. Now, when you want to talk about verses of the Quran said this or said that, first of all, it doesn't say it in English. What it's talking about in the Arabic language is wali. And wali has a special connotation when used in the Quran, especially when it's telling you that Allah is your wali. He is your protecting and, and uh, close ally. The one you should trust as a Muslim is Allah to be your wali or ally. You don't take non-Muslim people to be in this position. In fact, sometimes you don't even want Muslims in that position. You want to talk to Allah. And then as far as bitana, bitana is another word used in another place in the Quran. It's talking about like the inner lining of your garment. So intimate and so close to you. And who should be that? Maybe your mom, maybe, of course, a lost pantala, but not strangers and people like that. This is the meaning behind it. But as far as friends and associates, let them be with you and you be with them to show them the good way of Islam. Of course, don't copy the bad stuff they do, but that's in another email coming up right here on the mailbox here on Huda TV. I'll get back to this, and you watch for more mailbox here on Huda TV.